Oops. Welcome, foolish mortals, <laughs> to our fashion stream, a real fashion stream at that. If you guys uh, watched last week, we had a fake fashion stream, <laughs> which ended up being a baby shower surprise. And then I kept getting the joke of, it's a real fashion stream, right? Like, yes, it is. <laughs> so we are joined here today by some of the most incredible ladies here on YouTube. We have Brandy from Brandy and Dave over here to my right, what I'm pointing to my left. <laughs> and then down here, we have Donna and Sam. Do Donna had like, we were just talking about it, the best stream yesterday. Like, yeah. I need all the cute ghosts, graveyards, all the Halloween stuff. It was just amazing. And all, also anything apple cider, mm -hmm. like so fantastic. I love apple cider. I just love it so much. And then also who went live yesterday as well is Maria from LBV TV or from Lake Buena Visitors on Etsy. So we have some fashion gurus here that are gonna help us out with some Halloween spooky, also like overall Disney fashion stuff. Um, last time we did that, uh, we did like ears and we talked about some stores, but you know, once again, we never hit enough about the Disney fashion. We talked a little bit about Disney bounding. Um, so when this video ends, I will have to go back and like attach or put in the card of the last stream that we did. So I will link that. But I am super excited to talk about Disney fashion in terms of Halloween because it is my favorite holiday. And uh, yeah, we're just going to get started. I mean, obviously, I love my <laughs> headwear. I don't know about you guys, like wearing things on my head is my favorite thing to do at Disney. <laughs> I don't know about you. Like, I know Brandy likes her dresses. Mm -hmm. but, like, I don't know. Something about wearing ears and hats and headbands, like. It just makes me happy. Oh, yeah. I like it keeps your hair in place. It really does. And yeah. then, you know, I just, you look cute. So <laughs> do you guys have a favorite pair of Halloween or like Brandy, whatever kind of pair of ears you want to, <laughs> you want to talk about? Um, any Halloween ears that you like or um, just like any ears that you love to wear to the parks this season? Let's start with, we can start with Brandy. We'll just go boop, boop, boop. <laughs> well, um, I think my favorite pair of spooky ears would have to be my Maleficent ears, which I don't have here handy. That's but... okay. I mean, though we you showed those the last time, I think. Oh, yeah. And they were, and also, I'm going to find a picture on Instagram while you talk about it, because they are gorgeous, and you made them. I made them, and they were inspired by Maria's shirt. That is the stay woke shirt. Yes. Because that is, that's amazing. We have um, the shirt for Gigi and the shirt for Dave. And then I wore a purple dress with it. And then I we had our it. Maleficent. Yeah, we had our fun headbands on. And I found a picture of Gigi wearing them. Oh, awesome. Oh, that's a good picture. And also, so like, look at, shirt, look at the ears. Look at Gigi. Wait, so yeah. model, like. How do, can she teach me? I, I know, I can do that pose next time I do an Instagram post. She's just natural. She just does her thing and I take a million pictures and bam. It, it <laughs> runs in the family. Oh, thanks. <laughs> From Dave, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like I've done this the last few times because I get so excited to talk about what we're talking about. I know I did it last week too that I forgot to say hi to the chat. So um, if you guys don't mind, I, I seriously just get too excited to talk about Disney that I forget. Um, but we will just quickly say hi, and then we will go back to talking about ears and things on our head because they're awesome. Um, so Colin, hello. Sam, hi. Leanne, Sherbick, Captain Akron, Brittany, Dave. Brittany's there. Preston, hi. Aliens wear green hats. Hello. It's Joey's World. Uh, LSU mom, Emily, Surf Bum, catch up. Joy, Hello. Faith Hope and Disney, Barbara, Joy S, Theme Amazing, Avery, Jonathan Chong, Happy's Haunt, Christine Hickman, Stacey Rogers, Kit, hello, Angela. Thank you guys so much for being here. Michelle, I'm gonna catch up. Him, hello. Thank you guys. Uh, Nick Gates, hello. I never know what to do. I always like have to dance while I say hi to people. I like that. I love to dance with you. 
Yeah, you, you guys want to dance with me. Um, big Disney <laughs> fan, dad builds, uh, Lori, Jean, Carlson, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan McDowell, Elena, Aloha. I love saying that, Elena, Aloha. Judy, hello. I just Karen Cook. <laughs> you guys know that thing from TikTok where it's like no. Okay, it just jumped really far. Dreamer Deborah. So if I've missed you guys, just tag me and I will say hi. But oh, Dry Houston, hello. Thank you guys so much for being here and. Karki, we found Karki. Carol, hi. Um, Brandy, those are some incredible ears. Gigi needs to come on next time to teach us how to pose. Yeah. What was it was like. It was just like. That's amazing. It was like. <laughs> oh yeah, that, people say that the hands like to have. I was watching some video. I'm like so ashamed to say because I don't know how to pose. I'm like the most awkward person taking pictures. Someone's like, you have to have soft hands. I'm like, what does that mean, soft hands? And so people are like. I know. <laughs> Mama makes it's true. It just means bogey now. And they say, yeah, what, like the headache, the toothache, the something else. Oh, really? It's like there's different positions. Yes. I, I saw someone talking about like you have, you've probably seen all my Instagram pictures. I don't know if I should say it now. But people are like, you have to do this. I can't song. do that one though. No, no, you have to do it like. <laughs> very light, very if you want to know something funny, I, I for some reason, always am like this to the side. So if you look at every photo, it's like boom, boom, boom. I never <laughs> noticed that. Like, like, I never did either. I think we only notice it on our own pictures. Like, because I do the same thing where I'm, I'm like, oh, I can't post that one now because it literally looks like the same exact photo, just with different clothes. <laughs> uh, I feel like we need to get someone to teach. I mean, Maria, you're pretty good at modeling. I mean, actually, you guys are all really good at modeling. Maria's really great at it, yeah. Yeah. No, I just, um, I, my trick is to laugh. And even with the mask on, um, the trick is just make yourself laugh. And your eyes, even with a mask on, will glow because you're happy. So people can see that even with a mask on, you know, you cover up, you're still, you're bright eyed. Um, and it makes all the difference. So it's kind of, you know, just being happy and having fun. Um, and if you're not having fun, people will notice. <laughs> I learned from Tyra Banks a long time ago. Yeah. That you need to angles. smile with your eyes. You yeah, both of the angles. I learned that from Tyra Banks where she's like, do angles. Oh, I don't have any angles to show off. So I don't mind. Oh, well, I mean, I look like a, I look like Sally. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So we're learning, we have to learn a little bit more. I have to take notes from other people, especially like I'm trying to do this Instagram challenge of like posting a picture every day of Halloween stuff. I'm just not very good at it. So I need to get better. And that's why I need to do more of these fashion streams because I need to get better at it. I think you've been doing great, Meg. I think you've been doing great. Your pictures are amazing. I was looking at uh, the one the other day too, and I'm like, how does she do that? Like. I just, again, I just stand there and then hope it works out. So. That's pretty much me all the time. But actually, I, I feel, this is not even fashion anymore. But I, I learned um, from some other YouTube video, I don't remember who it was. They're like, turn on a video and then pose and then pose again and then keep doing poses. And then you could screenshot whatever pose you end up wanting to do. Um, oh, that's so. cool. That's a good idea. Yeah, we're learning. We're learning not just fashion tips, but how to translate those fashion tips into yep. a photo medium. You are a one-stop shop, Meg. Yep. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh my gosh! But I feel like I, at least for for my fashion, I I love to wear Disney stuff, but I also like to show it off because other people, like all of us, appreciate each other's style, and that's how you do it on Instagram and on YouTube, and you you just you learn from other people. Well, <laughs> well, no, but I, I definitely think, you know, the theme of tonight is also, you know, Halloween and spooky season, but I do think part of the Disney fashion is almost year round is Halloween year round 
dressing up and having, I mean, ears. Again, I think one of the things you were saying about the ears, what makes it fun is it's almost like a costume. You're wearing a headdress. It's our version of the Kentucky Derby, but at Disney. Um, and you get to kind of uh, dress up outside of your regular life um, or extra, you know, when you get to wear this, um, you know, uh, other than, you know, I would say when you really want to go full out. Um, but uh, but Disney has that way of allowing you year round to feel like it's Halloween, which I love. Oh, I do love that too. And I, I, Brandy, I don't know if you're as much of a fan of Halloween or Donna and Sam. Maria, I know that you like Halloween too. Uh, but Halloween is like, I feel like every day of my life. <laughs> so I, I collect so much Halloween stuff because I'll wear it throughout the year. And I know that's like really frowned upon, but I do that anyway. No, I mean, I design a lot of our shirts, um, you know, uh, to be worn, even if you're a fan of some spookier stuff or like even like our, I have our Dr. Facilier shirt. Oh, yes, um, you know that. Wait, can I um, present you? Because this is gorgeous. That's an awesome shirt. Let me see it. Oh, there we go. It's amazing. It's the, it's the hat. Oh, wait, there we go. I How cool is that? So we have the hat of Dr. Facilier, as well as the tarot cards and everything. But yeah. I wanted to make it in a way that even after Halloween, you can wear it because maybe you are a fan of Princess and the Frog. You just think it's a cool shirt. Um, you yeah. love the villain or you love New Orleans. That was my other idea was make it very New Orleans. I mean, it says New Orleans, Louisiana. So, um, you know, again, Disney stuff, I think a, a tip and trick of mine is to look for Disney items that you can kind of wear outside the parks as well. And then you're able to almost wear a little bit of, uh, I would say magic, um, a little bit of costuming without looking outlandish, even in your regular day life. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. And of course, Guys, uh, oh, um, Lisa put the link to your Etsy shop in there. So if you guys want to oh, check out that you. shirt, Karen just said oh. she ordered it. Um, I mm. know Steve ordered it. I have to go check it out because it's amazing. I also want to say hi to Cody. And um, I saw Mike Wheeler come in and One Stop Mouse. And also, can I say Mike Wheeler <laughs> has been talking about this update on Instagram. If you guys are a part of that <laughs> group message <laughs> for so long. And I was like, what is he talking about? And then finally this evening, I got it. So, yeah. so what happened? You get to like like other people's comments with different emojis. It's not like that big of a deal, but now I know where it was coming from. Yeah, I was lost too. I was like, what, what are they talking about? Yeah. But yeah, I didn't get to mess with it yet. <laughs> is it on post too? I don't know. Oh, that's a good question. I feel like mm -hmm. I'll have to try that. <laughs> Uh, also, hi, Movie Mania, Nick, welcome. Uh, but Brandy, yeah. I absolutely love those Maleficent ears. You are so talented. Oh, and thanks. Also, um, before we continue, I do want to say that Brandy actually has her own boutique. I know many of you guys yeah. know that, um, as Padre would like to say, BJ, but BJ's boutique, <laughs> um, they go, you're going live tomorrow night at 7? I'm just posting some restock items. I'm not going okay. live, okay. but I, I will be next week. Next week, Brandy's going live. And guys, please, if someone, one of the moderators could post Brandy's um, boutique as well. Uh, there are so many cool items that you could make into fall. Like they post all these cool fall photos uh, on their Instagram as well. Just super awesome. But I love super those cool. ears. I have to say so soft and comfy yeah. too. Like, you know, and also really size friendly. Mm -hmm. Like, even if it doesn't, it's not exactly your size. It still stretches really. All. I have to say, I was very impressed, Randy. You, you, you. Ace, amazing. Yeah, and also the cool thing about the boutique is, um, it's like not Disney, but you could totally make it Disney. Um, mm -hmm. Like I want, I want to be where the people aren't. Is a shirt <laughs> that Brandy so generously gifted me, and obviously that's a nod to Disney because. Ariel says, I want to be where the people are and it's got a mermaid on it. But like, for me, I'm very introverted. <laughs> like, I want to be where the people are and like, leave alone. Uh, so it's super awesome. Please go check out her boutique. Um, oh, Donna, thanks. Be Jack Boutique. <laughs> I love it. Oh, wow, um, Donna. I was like, Donna is like in here, super mod. I don't even, Donna is like the most incredible person I don't ever. even know how to stop. <laughs> no, I don't even know. Dave got a new computer, so I'm like, 
Oh, Chris says, um, Megan, I'm going to sit here, or quietly sit here in the corner and take notes. I always feel so awkward shopping for my daughter in the ladies section at stores. We can help. We could definitely help. Come yeah. on over. Well, I mean, I guess a lot of us have, uh, hi, Tommy, welcome. Also, Tommy so generously picked up the cost of our um, Pixar event in December. So a huge thank you to Tommy for his generosity and um, just his support in the community. Because actually, all of us are a part of that. So that's super, super awesome. Brian, hello, welcome. Uh, and yeah, just thank you so much, Tommy. And hi, everyone. Thanks for being here. Uh, Donna and Sam, where, what are your go-to? I know Donna is like the queen of the knotted headbands. I we about the last time, but do you have go-to headbands, go-to ears, go-to hats? Mm -hmm. Um, I have, and I should have had them ready, and I don't know why I didn't. I'm so sorry. But I had my um Hocus Pocus ears from last year. I have Ooh. a friend on them. And yeah, I was hoping that the cauldron would light up or have some kind of effect on it, but it didn't. But there's mm -hmm. so cool ears. Um, this year they had really nice um, orange ears with the like a uh, buffalo plaid um, bow. Do you have to see it? Oh, them. Really? Like, um, I actually have them right now. <laughs> so, and I love them because they're not just for home, I and mean, you can wear them all year long. Yeah. yeah. I like that because. You get, you know, multiple purposes for wearing your ears, not just for Halloween. Um, yeah, I, I love having fun at Halloween with, with the different ears and different things like that. Yeah. I love that you brought up the point of being able to use it outside of, like, say, one season or one month. Um, it's, it's nice when you could just pick a character, too, because mm -hmm. if you pick a character, then you can most likely wear it the whole year. But sometimes the Disney ears, and I would say, I don't know, some some Etsy shops, some uh, of the shop Disney ears or Disney Parks ears, they're very particular to a certain holiday or um, a certain event where you can really only wear it. Like, say if you have a pair of um, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party ears or you can really only wear it during Halloween. Um, you know, with those, the colors are so... I don't want to say muted. They're just like very neutral and yeah. you can wear it during the fall. You could wear it during the winter. I mean, you could wear it throughout the entire year. And that's what's nice is when you get more bang for your buck and you get to use, you know, your items throughout the entire year. So exactly. When you're on a budget, you know, and you can't afford, you know, the expensive ears for every single different character, even though you'd like to, that's a good yeah. way to go because like you say, you get more bang for your buck. And, you know, you're not feeling like you're, you know, squandering your money so much. You're getting something that you can use again and again. Mm -hmm. And also, like, <laughs> I'm sure all of us <laughs> own a lot of ears <laughs> because we love them. But yeah. for, you know, most Disney fans, they only own so many ears um, because also there is a point of storage. Like, where do you put these things? And... <laughs> I know Donna and Sam, I, you have like the most incredible ear tower that Dale made. I know Jenna has it too. Maria has it too. I find <laughs> Dale yeah, to, to make um, They are the coolest things I have ever seen. But like for the most part, people don't have those. And like, where do you put all these things? So to have a, one pair of ears that could. Uh, Melissa, welcome from Mouse Talk. Thanks so much. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Melissa and Walco live every Tuesday. So go check that um, them out tomorrow. They're actually doing a villains movie bracket. And I'm so excited for that. So mm -hmm. can't wait to, to find out who's the best villain. Um, I like all the spooky villain stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but for the most part, people only have room to have uh, however, a handful of ears. So I think it's really awesome when you have ears that could cover like several months or, you know, so many holidays or, you know, just classic mini ears that you wear all the time. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Donna. Sam, do you have any go-to ears or hats or headbands? <laughs> uh, my nightmare before Christmas ears from Byers. Oh, well, I'm I'm not biased. I love, I love nightmare before Christmas. So. Awesome. awesome. That's that's one thing I have to say. Like, <laughs> I love it. Um, oh yeah. Speaking of ears, sorry. I thought this was brought out props. Ooh. I did. I well, you said it's a fashion show, so I, it is. So I brought all the fashion. Um, oh my gosh, I love it. 
I thought these ears were actually smart because, you know, they go, of course, with anything Christmas, but also mm -hmm. for Thanksgiving, the fall, um, a lot of those hunter greens. Um, I mean, if I didn't have these amazing Meg ears, I would, you know, go with this. Um, so Disney is starting to come out with more year round option or, you know, ideas that you can do more with. Um, so, but that just made me think of it when she was talking about Nightmare Before Christmas. I was like, oh, even these work, you know? So, yeah. uh, again, I think Nightmare Before Christmas is a good go-to year round, even though it is Halloween and Christmas, it is always the season. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like Haunted Mansion holiday in Disneyland starts in August and ends in January. So that's a good chunk of the year that it, Disney is celebrating the Nightmare Before Christmas and like, you could never go wrong because that movie has all the holidays in it. They even have, oh my gosh, Dale says he's making more. Stay tuned. <laughs> you need more ear <laughs> Dale, make sure you sell them. They're amazing. Yeah. He, I mean, he really needs to make more because that TikTok that he made was unbelievable. Right. Like, that's, that's one of the things that got me interested in TikTok was that TikTok. Yeah. Oh, so cool. Oh, uh, Caitlin, hello, welcome. Uh, but yeah, Dale Minx, guys, go check out his TikTok because that that was unbelievable. It has like millions of views. Super cool. But I also love um, the fact that, because I mostly collect for the Nightmare Before Christmas in terms of my pins, and I feel like I could get away with sharing them for Halloween and Christmas. Uh, and so that just makes, I, I feel a lot better buying pins for that because I'm like, it's not just on just on one pin board for the whole year it's on for several months so super exciting <laughs> we don't need any more here dale maybe it will stop maria from buying ears says chris <laughs> where is he where is he? Yeah. i mean you always need another pair of ears don't let someone tell you i mean <laughs> there are those videos too that i've seen it's like you don't need another pair of ears Oh, Herschel Linney, thank you so, so much. That was so generous of you. A $5 super chat. Oh, Maria's bringing out props. Love, you. I love all thank of you. you. Thank you so much. And Maria Skull with that ears loves you too. Thank you so, so much. That was so generous. Um, I really, really appreciate that. Um, but thank you, Donna and Sam. And Maria, do you have, I know you have, like Chris said, you have a lot of ears, but all of us do, to be fair. Uh, do you have any of your go-to ears like that one <laughs> that your skull is demonstrating for us? It's like a Vanna oh, White. Well, I was also explaining if Dale doesn't make me more holders, we're just going to get more skulls. <laughs> oh, that's, so, is that that's how I will choke with them in our house. <laughs> um, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, do I have a go-to pair of ears that are like my favorite? Is that what, Was that your question? Whatever. whatever. However you want to answer the question. I didn't. I want... <laughs> I couldn't hear letting Chris know that if he doesn't let Dale make me more uh, holders, this is what'll happen. Yep. So <laughs> when Maria comes on, uh, we have props and threats. <laughs> Love it. But I, sorry, I one that, one, um, that one seems to be a good pair. I know that you got that in the parks, but do you have any other ones that are a go-to for you for this like spooky Halloween yeah, spooky season? season. Um, as Donna said, these. Yeah. Um, again, they go with everything. I mean, we even have, I, I thought usually for the villain shirt that we have with the Headless Horseman and Jack and all the villains, um, I usually just pair it with black ears, you know, something simple or one of their Halloween ears. And this was when they brought this out, all of a sudden this shirt now could look very feminine and almost cute. And I wear, I wore the checkered skirt that matched this. And now all of a sudden a villain shirt looked like a cute, you know, feminine girl. Uh, sure. I mean, I make everything in mind and I design all of our shirts um, in mind to be either dressed up or to be dressed down, however you want to imagine it. But it was the first time Disney came out with ears that were very feminine for the Halloween season and very uh, romantic almost. And it helped me bring out kind of a more romantic look to a spooky shirt. Um, so I have to say, and they're very comfortable. Usually Disney ears hurt me, yeah. which is the reason I love your ears, Meg, and um, Brandy's, which are wire, which are really nice. Uh, but this is the first time these are so lightweight 
Um, yeah. They're probably one of the few years that don't hurt me. I actually did notice that. And I'm, I'm someone who just like cannot wear the parks ears anymore because of that. I just have a large head, <laughs> but you know, for, for most people, like if you're wearing ears for that long, you get a really bad headache. Right. And the, I got a pair of ears, uh, a newer pair of ears in a subscription box and I put them on and I was like, wow, they're actually not that tight. So it's really good that Disney is starting to change either their headbands or whatever they're using, whatever materials they're using. And I think it will open the door. I, I mean, I know a lot of people won't wear them because of how tight they were, but I think if they start to make them more comfortable, people will want to buy more of them. So those are super adorable. And I also want to say that Maria and Chris design all of their own shirts. They have such incredible designs. Like, please, please go check out uh, their Etsy shop. And also, Stacy is posting all the links to <laughs> everyone's channels. But also, she just posted um, Brandy and Dave Designs Etsy shop, too. And I know that um, Brandy also makes ears, which is so cool. I love that we have... So many awesome creative people here. Uh, Dale says, can't wait to see hundreds of skeletons with ears all over them in the LBB house. <laughs> It'll happen. It, it fits everything. <laughs> I, I feel like I need to get those and that's actually how I'm going to start displaying my ears. Pretty cool, right? Is see, this like a new shirt idea right here. Yeah. You thought today. Hang them on the wall or something, and then you could put Santa hats on them for come time. Just change the holiday. So, oh, Alyssa and Neil, hello, welcome. Uh, Neil says Alyssa can't wear her your Disney ears too long; it squeezes her brain way too much. Yep, I feel like my brain is being yeah. inflated like a balloon. Um, but I think if you get certain headbands, it it makes it a lot more comfortable and tolerable to wear. And um, that's also really important for Disney because, you know, if you're at the parks for, <laughs> I mean, we'll stay all day. Uh, and I know that they've changed the hours. Um, oh yes, Chris, you should send Maria some of your skeleton hand earrings for her skulls. I just was like dabbling and making earrings and I made these skeleton hands and oh, I forgot them today. Yeah. I, I could be back if you guys want to chat for a minute. Yeah, I'll, I'll I want to say I love, so I've been like good skeleton earrings and no joke. Uh, there's a company called, I mean, it's a fashion theme night. There's a company called Bobble Bar. Way too expensive. Sorry, Bobble Bar. Um, Disney <laughs> license. They're like $70 for some earrings. Fun fact, you can find the same exact items that Bobble Bar makes for $12, $11 on Amazon. So I found these skeleton earrings. I'm trying to think if they're near me. Um, they're big and long, but you know, again, they're kind of falling apart and it's always nice to be able to find small shops that kind of really put uh, a creative spin on things. And speaking of small shops that are amazing, like Brandy, um, I have to say, I, I love, like uh, Meg was saying, she finds outfits that you can wear in regular day life and then turn it into something Disney if you want. Brandy, I just wore your blue tie-dye to Pandora the other day because it's getting oh, cool. Good. Um, so again, I do think at the end of the day, you know, even though there's you know Disney licensed merchandise out there, you can often find really special gems um, and often at half the cost through the shops and people that really put their heart and soul into their design. So. Here are my oh, no, 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 no. hands. Oh, that's so oh, cool. I've got um, glow in the dark mm -hmm. pigment. So mm -hmm. I'm actually trying to make a pair for my mom right now. I'm like waiting for it to oh, cure and, and to finish. And then I'll see if it works. But I I was wearing them and I usually oh, hate man. dangly earrings because for my ladies with long hair, they get caught in them. And it is so uncomfortable when you're like, Mm -hmm. Untangling whatever is yet. Yeah. <laughs> so I almost only wear studs. And I actually I have a lot of piercings. So it's weird if you wear it on any other piercing, but it's like these ones don't have anything that could get like stuck on it. And so I was like, let's try and make some spooky earrings. <laughs> so I'm awesome. awesome. Oh, 
But no, yeah. and the trip to good earrings, speaking of fashion, for I see there's a lot of people in the room, but if you're trying to make a statement um, with your jewelry, definitely use uh, big earrings. Mm -hmm. so that's a trick of mine, big earrings. Oh, I wish I could pull them off. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. feel like those look good mm -hmm. on me. Oh, Dre says, Meg, if you're sweating, they stick to your face too. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan McDowell says, this is such a different world than to how a guy prepares to go to the park. And that is actually very true. Unless you're doing like Disney bounding or something. Yeah. I feel like, and this is not something we talked about. If you guys want to switch over to like makeup, because we didn't even get to that the last time. Makeup is a struggle when you go to the parks, especially now, I'm sure with face masks. Um <sighs> Crazy. Also, hi, Lauren. Welcome. Um, so, Brandy, obviously, you and I have not been to Disney since the pandemic. Um, but ha do you typically wear makeup into the parks when you go? Yes, a lot of. I, I'm a makeup girl. I, <laughs> I obviously love makeup. On. Too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's fun to get all dolled up and go to the theme park, right? I mean, oh, yeah. So do you have any tips for like long lasting makeup or, oh, Dave says that makeup is really tough for him too. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I bet Dave doing Dave's hair is probably really tough too. Because That's the hardest. That is something that I struggle with because my hair, when it steps outside in Florida, it goes, Yeah, it is so hard like i will straighten my hair and then the second i walk outside it's like oh you straighten your hair you spend an hour doing that yeah that's too bad yeah, yeah. There's a for sure. well if you need industrial strength makeup that stays um i use i used to work in tv full time and so we know like good makeup for camera lights mm -hmm. and because you don't have you know you have to you can't just touch up on the fly while you're live on camera on the news. Yeah. So um, my go-to, I think that's the real uh, game changer is the primer that you put under. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sure my husband in the chat is like, what is going on? Um, so the primer, uh, all of you in the chat that may not know what that is, uh, is what a woman puts on her face before she puts on her makeup. And it's I use fine. something called super goop. It's no joke. That's what it's called. Super goop. Oh, wait, I have to look this up because I've yeah. never heard of this. And I so love super goop. goop and goopy. Um, <laughs> but then it like blends into your skin and it's a sunscreen. Where um, do you get this? And good for you. And literally put on any makeup, whatever you want. It's not going to come off. Um, oh my gosh, you can get it on Amazon? Yeah, it's amazing. Is that, um, where, you t is that where you normally get it? Like where do you normally get that? Sephora. Uh, oh, Sephora. there? Yeah. Um, so, so it's a it's a primer that has sunscreen in it. Yes, and it dries real quick and makes you all look like you look like like an Instagram filter. Oh no, um, I need to get this. It's really nice because I wanted something with a sunscreen, um, yeah. especially with the Florida heat and the sun and getting burnt, and also a mask tan. You don't yeah. want to have a mask tan. I didn't um, think about like, that. Um, I see a Laura Lauren's travels. Um, I have really sensitive skin, Lauren, and so mm -hmm. I have an issue too. I have to try a lot of stuff. Um, the Super Goop has a lot of um, organic uh, chemical, not chemicals, but like not the chemicals you're used to in most makeup. Um, so a lot of the makeup I use actually is like 80% organic based, and it still works. So I hope that helps. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, definitely the primer is that's gonna game changer, game changer. Lauren, I also, I, my face, I, I don't like specifically have rosacea, but my face gets really red a lot of the time. And uh, I mean, it's, it's really hard to cover up sometimes, especially if you're out in the heat and your face gets hot or, you know, you're hot anyway. Um, it's just, it can be really hard to, to cover, <laughs> cover the redness, but I, I am like super excited. I've never heard of this product. I am going to go check it out after the stream because this is the problem with doing group streams. I'm, <laughs> I always go on like eBay to look for pins or like on Amazon to look for other things or like last time I went on Loungefly and looked like, like new bags. <laughs> um, but I love the point too, Maria, that you brought up of sunscreen because that is 
number one going to Disney, at least for me, uh, because oh. you want to protect your face. And if you're in the sun all day, you look. Well, I don't know how people, I'm also very Irish with very, very sensitive pale skin. So if I get even, you know, out in the sun for like 10 minutes, I will get sunburned. Um, I don't know if you guys are like that too. <laughs> I am. That's pretty The only thing I wear is sunscreen. Mm -hmm. because number one, I get too hot and everything would melt off my face anyway. Yep. Um, and then it would like, break out and it would just be a mess. So I just don't even bother. I don't wear any makeup. <laughs> I'm so bad. Donna, you are such a beauty. You don't even need makeup. And, and also I'm now with masks, cover <laughs> half our faces and nobody knows what's happening. <laughs> Also, Angie J, hello. Um, she said, I honestly don't know how you gals keep it on with that humidity. Even with the best primer, mine would be gone within a, an hour. So um, do any of you ladies have a good um, foundation or concealer that you use going to the parks? Um, I use Urban Decay, the, um, the all-nighter. That works for me. Yeah. There might be something that's out there that works better, but that that stays on my face. And I always use the spray, the uh, setting spray too. I love the Urban Decay all night, night setting spray. Um, it's, it also comes in like small travel bottles too. So if you guys just like want to test it out or um, especially going into the holiday season now, they have a lot of deals where you get like a full size one and then a like mini travel one for like the and same price. It feels price. so good to spray yeah. it on. <laughs> I, I love all the sprays, but that is a must for the, I use it, I'll actually spray after my primer and then I'll spray after I finish my entire makeup. You gotta like cover the eyes. Um, but primer and setting spray are like a huge, huge important tip uh, to keep your makeup staying, especially even when it's like gross and sweaty and uh, hot out. So I love it. So, uh, is that's become a problem since wearing the masks is getting acne where yep. the mask is because you're all sweaty and icky and i've gotten it sam's gotten it and it's just because of the sweat and the heat and the mask sticking to you yeah so i recommend using the disposable ones and changing them every few hours so you have a fresh mask so it's not clogging your pores and the sweat staying there and the mask sticking to your face and all that because it does become an issue, the acne. That's, that is a really good point. Uh, I, I'm i very lucky where like I'm not going anywhere where I have to wear my mask for like a prolonged period of time. If, if it's anything, it's only like a couple of hours mm -hmm. and it's not that hot here anymore. So like if I go out and I'm wearing a mask, I'm not like sweating underneath it. And so that's not something I've dealt with. But of course, if you're going to Florida and you're like sweating and it can't escape yeah. you have a face mask on, like obviously that's going to cause some skin irritation in any way. Um, and so that is a really good point. Donna, have you found anything that has, besides like changing out your mask, any other tips for anyone of like um, maybe stopping into the bathroom and, and maybe freshening your face up or I don't know, cause I haven't done it. <laughs> well, what I've been finding successful is when I come home immediately cleansing my face with mm -hmm. the scrubs and opening the pores and unclogging all of that. Um, but I was going to say, I would imagine wearing makeup, because I don't even wear makeup, I would imagine wearing makeup, that would be an issue too, because it might come off on the mask and you have to reapply. So you might want to make sure you have extra makeup with you. That would be mm -hmm. a tip too. <laughs> that a tip, yeah. I um, actually, I don't wear, um, with that super goop, I know it sounds so funny. Uh, the primer. I don't wear any foundation. I just put on some powder that's also a sunscreen, and that's it. Um, and it works great because, again, Sam, like Donna said, it's not worth it. It's going to melt off. Yeah. Um, it's probably going to get worse. It's, you're going to be melting goop. Um, but luckily, the super goop kind of just uh, actually go, acts like a sunscreen, so mm -hmm. it doesn't ever move out. If that makes sense, it never melts off. Um, so that was my trick to figure out how to beat the mask with the heat and the whole issue was really just finding a sunscreen that's a primer. Yeah. Um, yeah. It really does seep into the skin and, and stay. Um, but, uh, but yeah, no, I, and I agree with Don about the mask thing. I bring actually seven masks. Oh my gosh. All day. 
just to keep kind of changing them up a little because you spit into them. You know, you don't mean to, but when we're talking, we don't realize, of course, yeah, you yeah. know, it's coming out. Yeah. Um, and so you, you know, um, like we, I make mine to be, you know, uh, we, we actually, I got the idea from Chris because he, you know, is in sports and we used his athletic wicking material that I bought to try to act like, you know, Under Armour, like the athletic moisture wicking. Mm -hmm. um, so I put that in the mask and that way it draws it out and you don't feel like you're being waterboarded. Right. Um, yeah. So that's another trick. If you have masks at home and you can sew, get some Under Armour, like athletic fabric from a t-shirt even that's stretchy and just put it in. That's kind of what Disney uses um, and just sew it in there. And that's another great trick to get the moisture away from your face. That's an excellent tip. I like yeah. that. Those are really good. Yeah, well, I, I'm going to send y'all masks. I got you covered. I, I was telling Sam, I was like, I got you. But I do agree though, the surgical masks again, you know, that's an easy one. You're able to throw them out, done. Well, you know, in parks too, because when you're there all day, like, um, I recommend having like your fun fashion masks like Maria has and everything and, and using those for your pictures and all that. But when you're mm -hmm. like, doing the nitty gritty and getting through the brunt of the day and the heat and everything, that's when you need your disposable masks. That makes yeah. sense. I bring both kinds and just yeah. out. No, I do tips because I know that I'm going to use them the next time I go to Disney because I know it'll be inevitable that no matter how cold it is, I will probably still sweat anyway. Because you guys in Florida think that like 50 degrees is winter and it's not. <laughs> um, but if you go out in 50 degrees and you're wearing like a long sleeve shirt, it's like, oh my gosh, and the sun comes out. It's hot now. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I also want to say hi to Louie. Hello. Um, hey, Louie, I hope hi, you're doing Louis. well. Uh, downscale. Thean Amazing has been putting some amazing tips in here as well. And Pig Latruski, welcome. Um, I, oh, oh, Andy J has a question for Sam. Uh, has she figured out the trick for not fogging up her glasses with the map? Still can't figure it out. Have you figured it out? No. Are you still fogging? Oh, that's fine. Oh, so I, I, I keep it like not here. Oh, so right where it's like, okay. Mm -hmm. So right by your glasses. glasses. Okay. So I don't typically wear my glasses out. I wear my contacts, but I do find, like I have to wear sunglasses a lot. Um, so when I wear my sunglasses, I put them over my mask. So like, it's not, like my sun, my mask is far up enough and my sunglasses are far down enough that uh, it, it doesn't end up fogging them up. Um, if anyone else has any tips in the chat, please let us know. I would love, oh, Tina says that she has always has about 12 masks in her purse. Yeah. <laughs> that is preparation. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, Detroit Disney duo. Hello. Welcome. I'm still wearing shorts at 50 degrees. Yeah, that, that's pretty much us here too. Like, oh, it's 55. It's like, oh, it's beautiful out here. But I don't know. That's just us. <laughs> um, so we talked a little bit about, about um, makeup. And I do want to say um, quickly, what I typically do is um, I'll wear like a tinted moisturizer that has SPF in it. So um, I didn't know about this super goop. Now I have to go and try that because I didn't know that uh, primers, all these primers had SPF in it. But typically I will use a primer and then I'll just throw in, um, throw on to my face some very, very lightweight tinted moisturizer. And if you guys don't know what tinted moisturizer, anyone in the chat or any gentleman who may be watching, if you're, if you like want to get away with looking a little bit extra nice with your complexion, I have to say, like, I know gentlemen who wear tinted moisturizer because it has SPF in it and it really like, it makes your complexion look amazing and it's super lightweight. I never, ever have any trouble with it coming off. Um, but I also try really, really hard to take care of my skin so I don't have to like have full coverage um, it's really hard to do full coverage in the park if you are used to doing full coverage Dave says he totally does it I knew that um I knew that yeah he actually and, and if we talk about blending too Dave has to blend onto his head like oh. so it all matches <laughs> that's a lot of work I think next time we have to have Dave come on and give us his hair tips his makeup tips we will, uh, we'll have to see what he comes up with 
Stacy says, I now carry an extra mask in my purse. Now, after I was well into a store and one day I realized I wasn't wearing a mask. Couldn't believe it. The amount of times that I've had to turn around from my house or come back to my house because I forgot my mask. I like will get to the parking lot. I'm like, oh. So now I keep like four or five masks just in the car because anytime I'm going somewhere, I forget it. And and actually I wear them on my wrist. Like I'll keep the um the elastic around my wrist and it looks like a little purse. I've done that too. Right? I'm like, look at my tiny purse. <laughs> I love it so much. Table and it's you know, you don't want to it's like when you sit down to eat and you can take it off. You don't want to put it on the table, but you don't want to sit in your pocket either. And you, like, what do you do? So yeah, I either have like a ziplock baggie or like you do, I put it on my wrist. So. Yeah, we we go for walks a lot, and you never know like who you're gonna run into. And generally, we don't run into anyone, but I will keep it on there. And and I do have to say, um, on Saturday. We went for our first long run in a long time, and and we went on to a, a more, when I say busy, we ran into like seven or eight people along the six mile trail, but like we still ran into people and we had to wear a mask, but it was so uncomfortable running and sweating into my mask. I don't know how you guys do it in Florida. Like the second that I passed some or like 30 feet past when I passed someone, I like took it down and I was like, <sighs> mm-hmm. yeah. it's difficult to breathe. In. For me anyway, it's difficult to breathe in the mask. Yeah. Um, it's just the humidity and the heat. Exactly. Um, as it gets cooler down here a little bit, it'll get a little bit easier. But when it was like 90 degrees or more and then the sun's pounding on you, yeah. Yeah, it was not fun. Not at all. <laughs> yeah, not, I think that's what the hard thing was, was the humidity of like me sweating into my mask and it just being a little bit humid out. And like my mask was getting wet. And that's why I, I like never understood why everyone was like, oh, I bring 10 masks. Like Nate said, he brings like 10 or 12 masks to the park and they'll just change them like every hour or something. Mm-hmm. And I said, oh my gosh, yeah. why, why are you, I don't even own that mask. Um, and you were talking about running. I was like, Chris, grab me one of our masks. A trick too is make sure, ask for ear things when you're doing them that are stretchy. Yeah. Um, because speaking of headaches, uh, you know, get masks that literally they stretch. So the Disney ones stretch, though they don't have like elastic here. So what I did with our masks is, and you can do this at home with your own masks, is replace the uh, piece here. So go to like Michael's or whatever, get something that's like, think of it like a boom, like a, what are, what are those things called? Slingshot. Okay, yeah, yeah. Slingshot. Something that, um, you know, it's easy to get at Michael's and then grab these little beads. So they sell them usually for, um, let me present you Maria. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. I brought the bead. These are tricks. Cause I mean, uh, our masks have become really popular, but originally I made them for myself. Cause I was like, I have to survive the parks. I have and to survive. Donna gets it too. We have to survive in the park, yeah. like not be miserable. Um, and I just felt like nobody was making masks that had in mind uh, safety as well as comfortableness. Yeah. So, okay, so trick, and you guys can do this with any of your masks at home um, that you love. Just go to Michael's, get this stretchy fabric. You know, it, it looks like string. Just ask them for anything. It's very, very pliable. And then uh, you have here a little bead. The bead goes on that. And this way it can be adjustable to your ears so that it doesn't hurt your head. You're not having to get those head savers. Um, Again, they're usually made, the little beads are for necklaces, um, but you can get them anything that's going to fit on this slingshot. And then always look for masks, I think, that give some. Because again, your face is gonna move, you're gonna talk, you're gonna turn your head around. Um, but really, even if you don't have a pliable mask, this is a game changer. This will make it so, again, it fits you nice. Um, it doesn't hurt. And this little bead, it makes all the difference to, you know, maybe one day you're, you know, you're a little puffy. I don't know. Like, <laughs> where you're, like, in, in my, uh, one of our friends has kids. And again, it's so hard to find masks for kids. And so the best way to do it is really 
you know, just redo them with these. Um, that's again, I made these originally for myself because I was like, these masks are terrible. Nobody's thinking mm -hmm. about comfortableness, breathability, um, you know, not getting uh, headaches. Um, I was like, okay, I got this. But like you said, you can make this at home. Uh, go to Michael's, you know, two dollars done here with this. Awesome. So first I want to say hi to Patrick. Zibidi do dad. Hi, Patrick. Patrick is streaming tomorrow night. He's going to talk about potential, like what kind of resorts you would like to see, aka like a haunted mansion resort. I have a very silly question though, Maria. How do you get your bead to stay on the elastic? Like how does it not come off? So you got to get one that has a small enough circumference. Uh -huh. and what I do is I thread it. So you're going to take the thing and literally thread it through. So it's got a okay. small, so almost like think of it like when you're trying to thread through a hole. Yeah. So um, make sure you tie to the end and then literally pull the bead or the, the uh, you're sewing through the hole, go through and then bam. But you want to make sure that this circumference is small enough. Yeah. Otherwise it's not going to stay. That's and what I was wondering. I'm like, how does it not come off? Because I see them all the time and I want to get them. Like I want to put them on my masks, but yeah. I can't. Yeah, literally, you can just take your mask at home um, and just sew it to the edge of your, you know, again, any masks. So yeah. just get something stretchy um, and then just take a needle and boom. Voila. Oh, Kim said Amazon has silicone type beads that they stay in place. I have to check that out. Super goop and silicone type beads. I love it. I And typically, like, I, I don't sell masks i only just make masks for me and my family because that's like, oh it hurts don't yeah <laughs> it's really painful yeah i i don't do that much sewing that i don't i like just i commend all the people that have donated so many masks or like maria who makes masks um i just i just cut it to what we need it to be but like i said my head is really big so i just like fit it to what I have. Um, and I need to go check out those silicone beads because that sounds like oh, yeah. a lifesaver. Uh, oh, uh, I feel like I'm learning so much. We covered makeup, we covered fashion, ears, and now we're talking about crafting and sewing. Oh yeah. <laughs> but also Halloween costumes. Yeah. I thought we were, you know, we're talking spooky stuff and how to save money um, while having a costume. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things I do too is because at Disney, you're allowed to dress up every day. And I live at Disney. So technically, I could dress up in a different costume every day, but that would be really expensive. So, my trick is just as you can tell, for those of you that may have not tuned in earlier, get props. <laughs> so, like, for example, this is $2 from Amazon. It's a top hat. Um, it looks kind of like Dr. Facilier's hat that's on her shirt wear it i have a oh i think it fell oh there we i got it hold up <laughs> i love all the props so this is um 6.99 from fun.com it's part of their voodoo costume and then i have a link in my bio you can get another 20 percent off so it ends up being like four bucks That's and then bam you have a dr Fustelier costume for under ten dollars you know, um, so I think the trick, again, if you have a family or you're dressing up a lot or say you just want to have fun is getting props. And yes, I am the queen of props, as you can tell. But um, but nonetheless, it'd be too expensive if I actually got things that, you know, uh, were costly. So even things like this, um, you know, fun.com is one of my go to's. We talked about the last fashion stream, uh, but their stuff is so cheap. I mean, this was Three dollars. Um, oh my gosh! It should be three dollars, but a lot of places sell them for seventeen, twenty dollars, and it adds up over time. Um, I'm trying to think, what else I brought? Oh, for my Dr. Facilier, because he's a voodoo important shirt. You know, I got a voodoo necklace. Um, you know, again, three dollars from Fun.com. Mm -hmm. um, so the trick is finding things on Amazon, Fun.com that are really just accessories, mm -hmm. and then you can kind of create the look you want. Um, while saving money without getting a, a new costume every time. Or like Brandy with her um, Maleficent ears. Um, one of the things I'm going to do is actually with our Stay Woke Sleeping Beauty Maleficent shirt is wear the ears. And now I have Maleficent vibes and I even have a feather black skirt I found on Amazon to go with it, to go with that crow Maleficent look, uh, $12. So again, it's really about accessories. And especially if you have children, 
um, that can make all the difference and make them feel like they're wearing a costume even when they're not, especially in the parks where it's too hot to wear a costume. Um, I mean, that's part of the reason we designed some fun shirts for Halloween is because realistically it's, it's too hot for costumes. I did drag poor Chris in a Prince Charming costume that was heavy, heavy, heavy. And he, yeah, to this day, he was like, never again, never again. <laughs> it lasted one hour and then he was in our t-shirts again. But yeah. these props, you know, for cheap from Amazon, fun.com. Um, oh yeah, uh, Zippity Doodad, the fun.com is amazing. Um, especially like for, actually Donna, you would love this for kitchen stuff. Um, you know how the waffle maker usually costs like what, $60, things like that. Fun.com has them for like $20 and then the coupon code, they have them everywhere, but you can go to my link in my bio, um, you know, the coupon code there, another 20% and then all of a sudden it's like $12. So, I mean, again, uh, there's websites that really make all the difference. Um, my go-to is fun.com, halloweencostumes.com, um, Amazon. I mean, at the end of the day, too, you can't wrong with Amazon. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, and I, I have tried, it's called, and Brandy knows about this, I've asked her about AliExpress, which is a uh, shop that like connects you with Asia. Don't do it. I tried. I bought um, some Harry Potter stuff. And let's just say, it, you know, what was supposed to look like Harry Potter glasses came out looking like, you know, mangled Lord Voldemort. Um, oh, don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth the low cost. And I was very sad. So, um, yeah, definitely stay. I mean, everything we make in the United States and it does help quality control, um, you know, doing things that, you know, where it's coming from and, you know, there were steps in efficiency you could, you know, count on or a return option. Yeah, <laughs> um, definitely. Yeah. So, uh, also I want to say, uh, Louis, thank you for being here. Uh, we missed, we, we missed seeing you in the stream. So, Thank you for being here. Um, have a great night. And to Maria's point, some a place that I like to go to is like Goodwill or any thrift shops because yeah. that's where I tend to start off with my costumes. If I, especially if I don't know who I want to be or like what kind of costume I'm going for, I will always start off there and we'll gather pieces. And then if I have to either sew or if you don't know how to sew, you can hot glue things on or glue with fabric glue, anything like that. If you want to start putting together a costume or you could find props there, like that is my go-to place for Halloween costumes. They actually even sell full like Target like Halloween costumes that they, at least in my area, I don't know about you guys, mm -hmm. like Target will donate costumes to goodwill oh, that. and they like oh, they just have cool. new brand new costumes that people could buy and then i think it was karen cook said another tip go to walmart or target the day after halloween and pick up accessories for next year oh, yeah. karen, karen, yes i do that i look forward to that day it's it's not even yeah. like november 1st it's like the second or third and then once you hit like the fourth or fifth it's like 90 percent off and those are my favorite days to go to Target. I, I don't have a Walmart that's that close to me, but I have a Target that's much closer. And my mom said, what do you want to do for your birthday? And I was like, uh, go to Target and look at all the clearance Halloween stuff because that's exactly, like, I love to do that every year. I get Halloween eyelashes for 30 cents. I get Halloween candy. I get Halloween costumes for next year because we will decorate, like, some of our... Um, we have like all these people that we set up outside and we'll buy like children's costumes for like a dollar and we'll put them on our like little um, decorations and it is just the best. So if you've never done that before, you need to go to Target or Walmart and check oh, that yeah. out because, oh, that is the best time. And I get all the candy then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, I just, I love it so much. Um, but we're hitting just about 10 o'clock. Do you guys have anything else you want to add before we start to wind down our real fashion stream? <laughs> no. I, I don't I do. Can I say something? Cause I just want to say, I think zippity doodad even said, you look amazing, Meg. I just want to oh, say about the makeup. Yeah. Okay, we're talking about makeup. Another great cheap way to dress up is have fun with the makeup. 
Yeah. You know, it's already there to work with. And especially, you know, um, with a lot of options online, you can get some cheap eyeshadows and colors. And but I don't have those skills. I don't have very many skills though, either. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank um, you. Incredible. So uh, again, another amazing option if you have the talent for it. <laughs> but you don't, even, you don't even have to have talent. Like, I don't even do lipstick. You can literally just like look up a YouTube video and they will walk you step by step of how to put, like, especially if you want to try like liquid latex or um, like, first of all, make sure that you're not allergic to latex because some people don't know that. And that would be horrible if you used liquid latex, but you could use household items to do makeup, like cotton balls or tissue paper or toilet paper and you use like latex and you build it up and that's how you become like a zombie or you know whatever you just learn through youtube videos and that's how i learned how to do makeup and actually next week we're going to be doing makeup with steve so i'm very excited about that um because steve lets me <laughs> do whatever makeup with him and he's such a good sport and uh we don't have any we don't have any idea yet of what we're doing. So if you guys have any suggestions of what you'd like mostly Steve to be, uh, let me know. I would love to get suggestions because <laughs> yep, we're gonna we're gonna make Steve do do whatever. So <laughs> oh, wait, I do want to know before we leave what and somebody in the chat I think asked it. I forget who it was. Um, what is your favorite costume you've ever done for Halloween? Oh, let's start with Brandy. Let's do that. Brandy, what's your favorite Halloween costume you've ever been? Ooh, so let me think. Um, one year, my friends and I, and Dave, of course, we were all Alice in Wonderland characters. I was Alice, Dave was the Mad Hatter, and my friend was the Queen of Hearts. I had a Cheshire Cat. Like, we had, um, I forget who else was dressed up, but I don't know. It was so fun. That was me. That was one of my favorites. Oh my gosh. I, I would love to do that. You look like Alice, too. That's really, you really cool. Do. It was so fun. And it's fun to have like group costumes like that, you know, where you have a whole group of people that are actually into what you're doing. I think yeah. it makes it so much more fun. Awesome. Donna and Sam, what are your favorite Halloween costumes that you've ever been? You were Ray. Yeah. Yes. I got to see that because she went to the Halloween party with me. Sam was like the best Ray. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and you look at her too. That's awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. I love it. Donna, and how about you? A couple of years ago, I went uh, to the Halloween party um, as the Queen of Hearts, ironically enough, Brandy. And um, yeah, I had the um, ears and all that and the shirt. And yeah, it was so much fun. Oh, I love that. I like that. Because Donna, you're a queen. I love it. Oh. And you have the biggest heart. Oh. Oh, I love it. Thank you. How are you? Maria, what is what has been your favorite costume that you've been? I was gonna say Cinderella. Um, but I mean, because again, who gets to be Cinderella in front of Magic Kingdom? That's like otherworldly. But Chris recently got to pick our costumes this year. Um, and again, I, I go to fun.com because they are usually kind of unique costumes too that are on the cheap. And we picked or I let Chris pick um, because uh, October 21st is coming up, which is the anniversary of the date from Back to the Future on the DeLorean. Yeah. And he was Marty McFly and I was Jennifer and we went to Universal and we went, we did the whole thing with the DeLorean and then Doc Brown came out and that was funny. He was like, Jennifer, what are you doing here? And oh like, gosh. and then he was like, Marty, you grew. Cause Chris is six foot <laughs> five and Michael J. Fox is four eleven. But, um, but yeah, so it was awesome and amazing. And uh, I think Chris enjoyed that probably more than Prince Charming, but it was fun. We had to run around Universal um, as, you know, back to the future. Um, and also I think 2020 is like the ultimate year to want to go back or forward some, sometime. Um, so Chris said, you know, I think it'd be a good Christmas card too. Like wishing us yeah. a good 2021 from back oh my to the gosh. future. Um, so yeah, that our Halloween costume may be a Christmas card. I remember seeing that on Instagram and I was like, oh my goodness, that is the best thing ever. Oh yeah, I crimped my hair even. It was like big. I mean, my hair is already big, but it was big. 
Oh, I love <laughs> it. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Uh, first, I want to say um, thank you to Downscale. Downscale sent a $5 super chat. Meg, what are you going to make Steve become? Come on, out with it already. I like genuinely don't know. So if you guys have any suggestions, um, I will gladly take them. And then also, Jenna's here. Yeah. Let me find Jenna's comment. Jenna, Jenna, we're so sorry that um, you had such a stressful day. And I hope that you're feeling better. Um, you definitely need to get lots of rest. Um, I know that when you take Benadryl, at least for me, I get exhausted. So I hope you get the best mm -hmm. night's sleep and that you feel better. And we're yeah. saying lots of prayers for you and keeping you on our thoughts. And we missed you tonight. You will definitely have to be on the next one. Yeah. And we can't wait until you come back with us because we missed you. Yeah. Oh. I love you. I love you. Sorry, she's my best friend. I'm just when I, I'm like, Jenna. <laughs> like virtual hugs. Like, like, I love you. I got you. <laughs> oh, Jenna, I'm so sorry. I hope you do feel better. Oh. Um, I love all those costumes. I think for me, um, my favorite one to do in Disney was Sally. Uh, mm -hmm. That was definitely my favorite one. But like you guys said, I go to the Halloween party for the most part in the end of August or in September, and it is so hot. And to wear long sleeves and a full face of makeup, I was like, yeah. so that was really hard. Um, but I loved all my pictures that I got. And um, here I was Columbia from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And we like with me and my grandma, we handmade my whole costume. And I wish I had pictures of it. I don't for some reason. But that was like probably my favorite costume that we made. So well, that's cool. That's really, really cool. Yeah. Oh, well, ladies, thank you so, so much for being here. I know Mike asked before, but um, we always have every week that we recognize someone from the Muppet Badge of Honor, which is Donna Jaworski this week. So I was so excited to see. Let me present you Donna. <laughs> I was so excited that it was Donna this week because I said Donna's going to be on here and Pete called me out on it the other day and he's like uh Meg you said that uh <laughs> we didn't change it last week because it was Richard so I love that we have Donna this week and we had Richard last week and you just Donna you are such a bright shining star in our community and i love you so much oh. donna has the most incredible streams on every other sunday yesterday she had a whole halloween spooky stream like please 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 go check it out unbelievable i just love you so much donna thank you for all that you do oh are you kidding it's my pleasure i just love giving to everybody it's just who i am and i just believe in paying it forward and being kind and that's me <laughs> I know. You are the best. I just, you are the best. Oh. And I was so excited that it was you this week. You're like, yes, she's going to be on my stream. Yay. That I is amazing. Love, I love when people are on my stream for like their Muppet Badge of Honor week. But yeah, congratulations, Donna. Oh, so much. And Donna is actually going to be a part of the whole December thing because she's like the voice of reason. <laughs> <laughs> like helping all the guys out. So like, yes, girl power. Uh, but thank you, Donna. You are such an amazing person. And for this week, I want, she she's in the chat. So I, I'm super excited. Um, but Meg's magical moment for this week is actually Lauren from Lauren's Travels. Lauren has been on my stream um, several times now. She loves pins like us. Donna has been on that stream as well. And Lauren has an amazing YouTube channel. So please go check out her channel. She's so kind. She's super passionate about Disney and theme parks and Universal. And she also lives in Florida. So she has awesome content. So please go check out her channel. Um, Chris says, I would like to start recommending some for Steve. How about Queen Amidala? That is actually pretty awesome. We've already done the, uh, <laughs> we've already done Emperor Palpatine where we said, do it. You remember that? <laughs> I remember that one. That was great. That was <laughs> then we had Brandy come on just for like a few minutes because I was <laughs> laughing so hard. All we said was "do it," and then we just ended the stream. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun! Uh, well, Donna, thank you for all that you do. Lauren, thank you for all that you do. Um, please, please go check out Donna's channel, Lauren's channel, and uh, Brandy is putting things uh, up on her boutique. 
tomorrow at seven. Um, so new supply there. And then also you are going live tomorrow, right? No. Yes. No. Oh, us? For, with with we, your YouTube channel. Uh, we usually do. We Well, Dave was away last week and this week um, G has practice. So okay. it's not, I think, I don't know if we're going to post a video. I don't know. We might post a video, but if not, it might be another week off. Well, that's okay. I mean, we have weeks off. I just remember last week, Dave was like, not this week, next week. And then I was like, it is this week and not next week. He's like, no. <laughs> and also, I want to say, we've been alternating. Like, Dave comes on one week, you come on the next week, Dave comes on the next week. And then I, so I feel like this is a cool, like, theme that I need to keep going. So maybe Dave needs to come on with Steve next week. And maybe Dave could do make up with us. Ooh. I love it. Um, Randy, thank you so much for coming on and chatting with us. And you are just such an amazing person. I am always so excited to have you on. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Donna, um, besides dinners with Donna, do you have anything else coming up on your channel? Yes. Actually, you know how I usually cook once every other week? Well, the next two weeks, I, I'm actually cooking three weeks in a row. I cooked last Sunday. Ooh. This Sunday, we're having a very special collaboration stream with the Lynn Project. We are making some special cheese from Chef Art's Smith. The item is his hummingbird cake. So we're going to make it. She's making it from her house. I'm making it at my house. We're making it side by side on the same stream on my channel Ooh. at 4 o'clock. And it should be pretty epic. I'm excited about it. That is so exciting. So, still 4 o'clock on Sunday? Awesome. Back to my regular schedule, which is cooking again the next week, and then we'll start doing every other week again. <laughs> awesome. So, guys, we are being blessed with more Donna. This is so awesome. I love it. Donna, thank you so much for being on. I just absolutely love you. You're, you're amazing. And Sam, what do you have going up on your channel? I know you go live all the time. You're live on Instagram, on YouTube. Any other videos coming out? I will be live from Magic Kingdom tomorrow. Ooh. You know what time? Uh, not yet. Guys, it's afternoon though, right? Yeah, it'll be in the afternoon. Okay, so make sure to check out Sam's channel. Turn on the notifications. She goes live all the time. So if you want to have a little sprinkle of Disney, you just check out Sam's channel. Also, downscale. Thanks again, <laughs> Megan. Whoever you are. <laughs> ah, what's <up? laughs> up? I'm not very good at that. Maybe maybe Ryan from the Shep family, you could get him because he said that, you know, he, he doesn't like the screen movies, whatever. Um, but Sam, Donna, thank you so much for being on. Uh, I just love you guys so much. And you. you're awesome, Meg. Thanks. And Maria, um, Maria has her Etsy shop and the YouTube channel for LBV TV and Lake Buena Visitors on Etsy. You guys typically go live on Tuesdays at nine and uh, you went live yesterday. Do you have um, anything coming up tomorrow? Yeah, we have a very special one. Um, we like to do Tuesday nights for those of you that are new to our channel. We bring the characters of Disney and even uh, Harry Potter, Wizarding World, um, where you can live interact, kind of like how we are now. Um, and you get to talk with them in the chat. Um, but I like to bring really rare characters. I mean, I know we can't, you know, with the pandemic, meet them in Disney. But I was like, who are some people that you never get to meet in Disney anyways? Mm -hmm. And so I thought it'd be cool, especially since we have our Villains uh, Club shirt. We have a Halloween sale going on right now at our um, shop. I thought, I'm going to bring the ultimate villains together tomorrow. We're bringing Constance from the Haunted Mansion. Uh, she's going to explain. I said, I want to know why she kill all her husbands. Like, what's the deal? What's her problem? What's her weapon of choice? <laughs> be careful Chris my it husband is, it is um, and then we're going to have I didn't tell anybody on our stream yesterday I try to make them guess but this is big this is really big and I'm really another skull. I don't know how he's going to talk um, we're going to see how he connects with everybody but can you guess who it's going to be oh. headless horseman the headless horseman who nobody has ever met or talked to so we're going to find out I was like I hope he can speak on the on the screen, but I think we'll be okay. We're going to find out. Um, and other oh, famous villains. Good either way. In. So I'm mean, oh, and some hitchhiking ghosts, of course. Um, they may follow you home. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. So, 
Yeah, so tomorrow's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I love, again, bringing the magic in a fun way, the same way you do, Meg, and Donna, and Sam, and Brandy, all in your unique, fun ways. And, uh, you know, this is just another way to do it on a Tuesday night um, after the parks have closed. And, uh, you know, again, it's one more way also to say thank you guys for making me smile on a regular basis with your live streams. And I hope we may, we do the same for you guys. A hundred percent. And I always look forward to seeing like, you always get super rare characters and I love it. I, I do have to say, love seeing Oogie Boogie on there, but awesome. I cannot wait to see Constance because she's one of my favorites. And of course, the Headless Horseman, Lauren said he had it coming. <laughs> and that makes me think of Chicago. He had it coming, you know, but thank you ladies so, so much for being here. I mm -hmm. loved talking about you know, it was like last Monday, we ended up talking about pillows and grocery stores. But today we talked about fashion, makeup, crafts, masks, you name it, all the things. Um, I just, <laughs> I feel so lucky to be, you know, among all you incredibly talented, wonderful women. And I just cherish our friendship so, so much. Um, please, please go check out all these incredible ladies. Um, they just have the most wonderful channels and they will bring smiles to your face no matter what day. Um, just so many amazing people. Uh, thank you guys in the chat for being here and we will be back next week. Of course, we're going to be uh, doing makeup with Steve and we will see you guys tomorrow at the LBV TV stream and uh, at Patrick's stream at seven o'clock where he is going to be talking about I mean, a haunted mansion resort. What? That would be super cool. Um, so we'll see you guys there and have a wonderful yet spooky rest of your evening. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, wait. Hurry back.